Hi guys, good to see you again in June. This is Oleg, your real estate broker with Winner Bellevue comments. This episode is going to be my June market update for all Seattle and all east side neighborhood. And I'm going to use data from last month because data are available from Northwest MLS. Finally, we have some sunny days. I'm recording this video in second half of June and weather is back to Seattle again when we can go outside, enjoy those sunny days. And now let's come back to this market update and I'd like to start with a story. Recently, I just sold this townhouse for my client in very nice and good location, wooden wheel with good schools, uh, have some view. It's a beautiful locations near the parks and trails. And this property was listed on the market for some time. It was able to negotiate price. Uh, we negotiate $15,000 from the price. And also we negotiate second time after home inspection. Clients got really good deal. That tells me guys, buyers can still find a good deals on the market, even with this high mortgage interest rate. And speaking of the mortgage interest rates, Mortgage News Daily shows the mortgage rates is hovering around 7% for 30 years fixed mortgages and did not really change much. We don't have any good news from Feds yet. Uh, we got promised to drop interest rate this year three to two times, but apparently uh, Feds did not reduce rates and mortgage rates stay the same. But now nobody knows when rates going to be decreased, but we hope for that. And uh, if that's going to be happen, a lot of people are going to be able to refinance property and drop this very high mortgage interest payment. I will start with months of supply of inventory. And currently, you guys can see the slide on the screen in King County, Snohomish County. We have pretty much majority of orange color and that's less than two months inventory. That means we in a seller's market in those locations. But some spots we've got green colors and green colors is more than two months inventory. And more than two months inventory currently, we have in West Bellevue, in Western Island, South Seattle and southeast of Seattle. Those locations have a lot of listings on the market right now and inventory is more than two months to sell those properties. I will start with Seattle East Side neighborhoods and then we're going to be moving to review Seattle locations. And East Side means all those cities east from Lake Washington combining together like Basel, Kirkland, Redmond, Issaquah, Sammamish, Woodenville, Mercer Island, all those cities together considered east side locations. And currently in east side locations, medium close sale price is $1,699,975. So almost $1,700,000. Price increase comparable to last year for 17%. And currently in the market, we have only one month supply of inventory. If you review data comparable to the highest price when we have in April 2022 in Seattle East Side, the medium close sell price was $1,722,000. Currently in June, we have almost same price. So basically, we're back to the same price, highest price we saw in Seattle East Side two years ago. And this is good news for the sellers because if somebody wants to sell right now, you guys are going to be able to get the top dollar for your house. 58% of all all sellers sold property inside above asking price and they sold it 8% above asking price. This is a huge number. It's about $136,000 above asking price. 14% homes sold at asking price and 17% homes sold below asking price. And people who negotiate price, they negotiate around 3% below asking price. 85% homes in sales east side selling less than 15 days on the market and 7% selling with 30 days on the market. That tells me guys, inventory is moving really fast in sales east side and all houses selling pretty much within two to three weeks. And this is a very interesting graph for me. You guys can see with me on the screen, in 2024, we above 2023 level, but we still not quite in 2021 to 2022 level with number of listings sold above asking price. Let's move to sell neighborhoods. In sell neighborhoods, we have 1.5 month supply of inventory, price increase for 7% year to date, 
and medium close sell price is $965,000. In sealed neighborhoods, market a little bit cooler comparable to east side market. As you guys can see with me on the screen, 44% homes selling above asking price, 24% homes selling at asking price, and 15% homes selling below asking price. Very similar to sales east side, people who compete with another buyer pay 8% above asking price and people who negotiate price, they negotiate for about 3% below asking price. 76% homes in Seattle neighborhood selling less than 15 days on the market and 9% homes selling within 30 days on the market. Inventory is moving very fast in Seattle. This slide shows number of listings sold about asking price and this year you guys can see with me on the screen we have a higher number than last year 2023 but number of listings sold about asking price is less this year comparable to 2021 and 2022 levels. Seattle medium close sale price up for 7% year to date, but currently market seasonally slowing down in Seattle and this is related directly to affordability. Comparable to Seattle, sales east side market is really hot right now with record high medium close sale price almost $1,700,000 and record high mortgage payment for the property. Can you imagine people who buying homes right now with 20% down payment with this mortgage interest rate? They pay approximately $11,000 a month. This is pretty big number and we never see this before. But with that, 58% homes selling above asking price. We have strong demand on the housing market and I'm expect uh, with the seasonality, demand will be slowing down because a lot of buyers in August going to be leave town for vacation to catch those sunny days, uh, last days before kids go to school, uh, they are gonna take vacations and a lot of people going to leave the town. This time is maybe good for other buyers to buy because will be more inventory in the market and this time will be slower market than right now. Mortgage rate I think is going to be stay until November. Nothing's going to be changed because feds don't have to change it. If we can have more inventory in August and September in the market and mortgage rate will drop in November for example, then that's going to be help real estate market again to move and we're going to see very hot winter this year with a lot of demand for real estate from the buyers. For that guys, if you guys need any help, reach out to me. I would love to be your real estate resource. Regardless if you're looking to buy a house or sell a house, you can use my expertise in this local market. I've worked here for 24 years. I know every street, every corner. I'm connected with a lot of contractors and can help you to achieve your goals in 2024 and hopefully in 2025. You see my number on the screen, please call me and let's have a conversation about your needs. With that guys, have a fantastic week. Until next time.